The Wagners were the rich people of the town. I used to hang out with Jake and George. Their grandmother, Freddie, would spoil them all the time. Frederica Wagner is Billy Wagner's mother, the mother-in-law of Angela Wagner. Frederica's got a little bit of flair to her. She stands in sharp contrast to Billy. Billy worked for his mother, and Billy was also a trucker. Angela did work with Freddie to help with her horses and dogs. Frederica and her husband, Bob, bought the Flying W Farm. It's this sprawling 1,700-acre property. They had a successful horse breeding business, and Frederica owned rental properties around the area. There have been estimates that they possibly are worth as much as $4 million. In Pike County, Ohio, that's an astronomical amount of money. Warm weather's coming up. She needs to get rid of all this old fur that she can. I believe it makes her a lot more comfortable, personally. So uh, tell me about this area. Is it very family-oriented, church-going? Nobody knows a stranger around yeah. this parts of this. Yeah, around through here, ain't nobody know a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> and as far as family goes, I'm related to most of this town <laughs> through one way or another. <laughs> So this would be the house where my sister Angela spent most of her life. She wasn't born here, but she was raised in here pretty much. I'm 20 years younger than my sister. I was a year and a half older than George. I was two and a half years older than Jake. We grew up as close as brothers would. Me and George and Jake, what we'd do most of the time, we'd go full of riding or we'd go fishing or hunting. Definitely seemed like George had more friends than Jake did. Jake was always different. He was the odd one out. BCI thought that this might possibly be a Mexican drug cartel. People who think that the Mexican drug cartels don't have a presence in southeastern Ohio and Pike County are just mistaken. For southeastern Ohio and Pike County specifically, US Route 23, which is what we're on now, is what some people call the heroin highway. Typically, what we would see would be methamphetamine, fentanyl, cocaine, heroin, and we will occasionally as well see prescription medication. There's the Gulf Cartel, the Jalisco group, the Sinaloa Cartel, which was led by Juan El Chapo Guzman. We located a Mexican national marijuana grow within just a couple miles of the Roden residence. The reasons that the cartel may kill people, certainly infringing on their territory or their business, or even the perception that that has happened is enough in some cases to get someone killed. And it's a great crowd for opening ceremonies. I'm glad to see you all here. One of the traditional small town gatherings in Pike County is the Dogwood Festival. The Dogwood Festival is probably one of my favorite times of the year. It's the small town kind of thing where everybody knows each other. We all come together every April and it celebrates the Dogwood tree. Please welcome our 2022 Pike County Dogwood Festival Queen, Kendall Rainey. Lord, I just thank you for bringing us all together as a community. Christ was crucified on a dogwood tree. So that's the, the flower that we embrace for this festival. Now for the crowning of the 2023 Queen in Court, Brooklyn Hart. You know, Piketon's a great little town. This is a great little festival. This is what makes America what it is. Thank you for coming, and I hope to see you this weekend around the festival. Thank you. A lot of people have had their family base in Appalachia for generations. 
families are tight-knit and protective of one another. We take care of each other from cradle to coffin. Families stick together, and they don't always trust law enforcement. In these hills and hollers and these mountains, if someone stole something from you, you went and got it back. They will take matters into their own hands. If somebody's trying to draw you into that, beware.